What up? Welcome back to Crow City Comics. My name is Sean. If you don't know, uh, I'm also a noob when it comes to comics, so please excuse my newbiness. But uh, today I'm going to talk about the second thing that got me back into comics, which is Grant Morrison's classic 1989 graphic novel, Arkham Asylum. Uh, it's a Batman story, obviously. If you don't know, now you know. But this thing is a piece of art. It's a piece of art. It really is. The artwork in this, I can't remember the artist's name off the top of my head right now, but it's its so dark. It's like a dark, almost like watercolor-ish, like hand, hand-drawn. Oh, it's just, I've never seen artwork like it in any form of comic, and it's... That I think that's one of the things that makes it stand out so much is the artwork. And I got to be honest, when I first read through it, I was just like, what? What is going on? This this is just such a such a weird story. The art is weird. Everything about this is weird. But then I was listening to Grant Morrison, inter- the Grant Morrison interview uh, with Kevin Smith on his podcast, I think it was like the fat man and the cowl. And Grant said, what I really wanted to do with that story was show what Bruce's nightmares are like. And when I viewed the graphic novel as if I was watching Bruce's nightmare, I was like, this makes sense. There's, there's a lot of nightmarish themes, you know, and uh, the <clears throat> one of them that stands out is uh, Arkham's. What's his name? I feel like it's Amadeus. It's not though, but uh, he's reliving uh, the Arkham's childhood, where he walks up and he goes to his mother's bedroom, and. Th- it's so weird. He opens the door and his mother's right there. And she has beetles starting to come out of her mouth. And I'm like, what is this? As you can, But once I like understood that it was supposed to be like a nightmare, I knew. I was like, alright, this makes sense then. But the whole premise of the story is Joker takes over Arkham Asylum. Obviously, yeah, that would be Bruce's nightmare. Yeah, uh, the one secure place in all of Gotham is taken over by your worst enemy and the most sadistic enemy. And the way uh, the way Joker is drawn in this is so fantastic. It's so fantastic. And for some reason, I don't know the story behind why the Joker... And this is spoiler alerts. So sorry for the late spoiler alert. But Joker's uh, dialogue is all in red letters. And it's just so great. But a lot of of the themes and some of Bruce's dialogue in it is him being afraid and realizing that he's kind of insane too. He's a little nutty. I mean, the way he can just push aside his feelings and stuff and it's, it's a little wacky. Uh, definitely some childhood trauma that he hasn't dealt with. Um, <laughs> but it's there's there's a few times in Bruce's dialogue where he just is like, I'm just afraid that when I go in there, it's going to feel like I'm home. And there's a, a point where Joker is on the phone with Bro- Bruce, and he's like, Batman's like, what do you want, Joker? You're holding up the phone line. And Joker's like, we want you in here with us where you belong. And you're, and once you have the idea that this is his nightmare, you're like, yes, this all makes sense. And there's one really twisted moment. All of the prisoners in this look really weird. Uh, but there's one twisted moment where Bruce snaps some dude's leg and it, looks like Clayface almost, but there's like little, little Easter eggs of villains in this, but yeah, that's, I gotta reread it, I let my buddy borrow my copy, and he lives 
across the country. So I don't know when I'm going to see that again. But this, I highly recommend this graphic novel. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. And one of the reasons why I got back into comics, well, into comics, because I was never really like, uh, comics. But now all I have is comics on the brain. It's nuts. But anyway, I highly recommend this. They keep releasing anniversary editions because it's a great story. But other than that, uh, I can't really think of anything else to talk about for it. Just highly recommend it. Uh, if you've checked it out, let me know what you think, because I love it. Um, and if you didn't know that it was supposed to be Bruce's Nightmare, now you know, and you should go and reread it again. But my name's Sean. This is Crow City Comics. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe to the podcast. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff. Shoot me an email. I don't care. I just want to talk comics. Anyway, yeah, feel free to DM me. I'll, I'll talk about comics all day. All day. But yeah, thank you again for watching or listening. And I will see you guys next time.